Hello again. I'm Mrs. Cole, and I hope you're having a great summer. Are you taking any family vacations or trips? In today's gospel, Jesus sends his disciples on the road, and he has some travel advice for them too as they go around the countryside to teach about God's love. So what was that? Well, let's find out. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, we want to be people who love peace. We want to bring your peace to others. Show us how and guide us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So our gospel story today is about Jesus sending out the disciples to teach the good news in his name. One of the disciples here is waving goodbye as they set off. Jesus gives them some travel tips, which we'll learn about, but mostly Jesus wants his disciples to share a message of peace and healing and to serve others wherever they go. So let's see what the Bible bag has for us today and learn more. Well, here we have a big word, disciple, which means a follower someone who applies what you've taught them, the way the apostles followed Jesus' teachings and then spread that good news to others. Now, Jesus couldn't be everywhere. So in our story, he sent out 72 followers or disciples to tell everyone the good news about God's love. He sent them two by two, so they'd all have a traveling companion, a friend, along on their travels, and here they are heading out into the country. And what's this? Oh, it's the ultimate packing list. Whenever I take a trip, I make a list so to help me remember everything I'll need, things like a toothbrush and sunscreen and a swimsuit. My list is always pretty long, but in our gospel story today, Jesus told the disciples to travel light. Even though they'd be going on long walks from town to town, they didn't have cars back then. Jesus even said not to bring money or a traveling bag or even sandals. <laughs> that seems odd, doesn't it? Wouldn't they need a suitcase and clothes and shoes on their travels? Well, what Jesus was really saying is that his disciples should put their faith in God, that the people would give them what they would need wherever they landed. Now, I don't know if I'd take a trip without a suitcase or shoes, but Jesus' point is to worry less about yourself and to focus on what others need and how you can help them. Now, here we have a picture of sheep and some wolves. It looks like the sheep are surrounded by some very scary wolves. And in real life, sheep know to stay away from big, scary animals that aren't friendly and actually want to eat them. In our story, Jesus says, remember, I'm sending you like lambs into a pack of wolves. He's saying, you may not always be real welcome where you go. Some people may not want to hear your message. He says, if they do, great, count your blessings and give thanks to God. But if not, just move on to the next town, not wasting any time along the way. He even tells the, 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 the disciples how to be good guests when they arrive. He says they should be courteous and nice, eat whatever they're offered, not to be fussy or expect any fancy banquets all over town. And they should just stay as long as people are open to their teaching and then head on to the next place. Now here we have a button with a peace sign. In today's gospel, Jesus told the disciples to say, God bless this home with peace whenever they entered someone's house. Jesus wants us to be peacemakers too, by not fighting or arguing with people or causing trouble, but helping and serving people. In fact, Jesus wants us to be a blessing wherever we go, to bring happiness by being kind and helpful. When I was little, a lot of families had these little containers for holy water, just like we see in church. And people would have these right next to their light switches when you came into their house. They'd put the holy water into the holy water font. 
The idea was to make the sign of the cross as you entered or left and to ask for God's blessing on yourself and everyone who lived in the house. Listen in the story for where Jesus tells his disciples that they should bless all the homes that they visit. And here he is. Let's hear today's gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord chose 72 other followers and sent them out two by two to every town and village where he was about to go. He said to them, a large crop is in the fields, but there are only a few workers. Ask the Lord in charge of the harvest to send out workers to bring it in. Now go, but remember, I am sending you like lambs into a pack of wolves. Don't take along a money bag or a traveling bag or sandals. And don't waste time greeting people on the road. As soon as you enter a home, say, God bless this home with peace. If the people living there are peace loving, your prayer for peace will bless them. But if they are not peace loving, your prayer will return to you. Stay with the same family, eating and drinking whatever they give you, because workers are worth what they earn. Don't move around from house to house. If the people of a town welcome you, eat whatever they offer you. Heal their sick, and say, God's kingdom will soon be here. This is the good news of the Lord. And that's our Bible story for today, where Jesus asks his disciples and us to share a message of peace and love wherever we go. Now, you might be too little to go from town to town to tell people about God, but you are still one of God's chosen disciples. Have you ever stopped to think that every day, wherever you go, Jesus is sending you to preach a message of love and peace by what you say and how you act. So this week, can you be a peacemaker in your home, not fighting or causing problems, but obeying your mom and dad and being a good helper? God wants us not to focus too much on what we want, but to put others first sometimes and to focus on loving and serving the people around us. That's how you can be like the disciples that Jesus sent out to make the world a better place. And it's how you can be a blessing wherever you go. So let's close with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, we want to be people who love peace. We want to bring your peace to others. Show us how and guide us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So until next time, be loving, be kind, be a good disciple, and remember, Jesus loves you.